Hello everyone, it's Daniel Blaster, and welcome to episode number 19 of our Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke here on the channel. If you missed out on the last episode, make sure you go back and check it out, because what we did in the last episode was, was we took on the 6th gym here in Sweetland over in Grapevine, aka Saffron City. And uh, we found out that Sabrina's an alcoholic in this game. <laughs> So that's pretty, uh, pretty lit. And then we came down this way before we got greeted by this, this man right here, this pirate dude, with his boat. So we're gonna see what's going on with that. So if you guys are hype for some more sweet, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But with that, let's get a quick team recap. Up first, we have Double Bub. Old Man Bub, our level 47, Haste Naked Gumballer with a bear claw. He's sturdy, of course. Rock Gumbo Blur at Brick Break, Secure Bomb, which we learned in the last episode, and Minimize. <coughs> we have Twizzler, level 45, our Dawson Naked Legame with the Cherry Berry with Chlorophyll, Rock and Rasp, Paddle Dance, Peeler, and Attract. Then we have Milk Dead, level 48, our Quiet Naked Banana Buzz with Sand Veil, Rock and Fly, Fug, Slap, Slice, and Dig. <coughs> then we have Kit Kat, level 46, our Adam and Naked Cup Cat, who's actually holding a person berry, gotta take that off of you. Uh, with pickup of course, Rocket Aerialize, Banana Shot, Payday, and Thief. <coughs> then we have Spangler, level 46, our Naive Naked Area Cake, with Shield Pie, Rocket Pie, Beam Night Shade, Razor Lime, and Sleep Flower. And last but not least, we have Alan here. Our last team member is actually Julius, our Bertzel, who I did unfortunately have to box temporarily so we could have Alan here to surf. Uh, but anyways, what's going on, my dude? Yarr, ahoy, matey! Wahaha, look at you surfing like a landlubber! Of course you took the ATM from us, so who's the thief? The misspelled thief? Now, eh? You say I'm salty? Alright, landlubber, get in the boat, and forget about it, like, you couldn't possibly fight from that position. Yes, I can- I, If I can fight all those swimmers on the, on, the, on the route that came up here, surely I can fight you from here. Sleep tight, landlubber! Oh, well. <coughs> Pirate Fort, and we actually don't have, and they actually took away all of our Pokemon, so that's just dandy. Uh, alright, what's over here? A TM20 for Solar Beam. Alright, I'll take a TM for Solar Beam, alright. There's nothing here. Uh, unfortunately, I, actually, I, I do actually already know how to get out of here. You literally just, remember the walls here, I made a chocolate. You eat a path through the wall, yummy. <sighs> this game, I swear to God, brain freeze. Is that like, what is that? TM14, that's like... Ice Beam? Blizzard. Close enough. Alright, interesting. It's Grape type, so... Once we get our Poka Sweet back, maybe that could be of use. Uh, let's go and flip the switch. Who wouldn't? So, does that mean that's open now? Yes, it is. Okay. I mean, not that I really need to go back there, but okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, shit. Okay, I actually played myself. <laughs> I actually should not have hit that switch. Because by doing that, I fucked myself over and uh, didn't let myself go through here. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go ahead and explore, since we can't really do much else without our pocket sweeps. Look at right here. Slagga like ding dong, alright. So, I do want to go ahead and check real quick. Also, apparently they took our cookbook too, I noticed. Alright, can anyone learn Brain Freeze? <laughs> Alan can. Okay, well, the one Pokemon that's not actually on our team can learn it. That's just, alright. Uh, also, I don't know what this music is, but okay. <laughs> Some interesting music you got here, game. I feel like I should have hit that switch there, but it's whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, alright. Run up. Run up, get done up. The prisoner escaped? Fuck yeah, I did. Because you have... Okay, real talk. Why would you make your walls be made of, out of something that can be... Uh, that is edible, basically. That makes no sense. Like, because if it's edible, you can just do what I did and, like, eat your way through the wall. I mean, that still makes no fucking sense, but, I mean, hey. <laughs> you think this game is here to make sense? No. It is not. Alright, Pedal Dance, please hit the Samurai Cone. Damn it. Okay. That's fine. I'm still gonna do some decent damage. And Gum Bubbler, which is, of course, super effective on Young Queemacent. Gotta love that name, Queemacent. Alright. All righty tighty. Twizzler's gonna level 46. Swag. A lag a ding dong. Alright, a Gum Tick. Oh, please. Okay. Sleep Flower, why? Why? I mean, I guess, actually, you know what, no, that's good on you, because Twizzler is actually technically more of a threat than Double Bub is. So, good on you for actually, uh, for actually assessing the threat. I can respect that. 
Um, where are my... Did I... I didn't seriously use all my awakenings, did I? Okay, well, I, I, I better... I, I, okay, well, I know I have some berries for that, then. So, yeah, I got four Chesto berries. One of them's got your name on it, Twizzler. Alright, go for the Sicker Bomb on the Gum Tick. Super effective. That's gonna be an almost an Oko, because Double Bub is too strong. He is actually too fucking strong. <clears throat> Alright, well, that's super effective, but it's literally doing barely more than they did Double Bub. And <laughs> withdrawing. That's not gonna save you, my boy. My boy, that is not going to save you, because we go for Sicker Bomb, and can we please land the Paddle Dance on the Samurakone? Of course not. Of course not. So now Sicker Bomb's gonna hit the Samurakone, which isn't what I planned, but I guess at least it's free damage. I guess. I swear to God, if you put my Twizzler to sleep again, so help. Okay. He missed. He missed. Thank you. Thank you for missing. Alright, go for the Paddle Dance. That should be enough to kill, I would think. I mean, he has a little bit above us in terms of levels, but... Yeah. Oh, it's a critical hit. Okay, I don't think... I want to say the crit didn't matter, because it is stab and super effective, but who knows? <laughs> who knows at this point, you know? I've had Pokemon live on one too many times in this series, so you never know. <clears throat> Alright, so... Oh, shit, we can get an encounter here. I was not expecting that. It's a Gumball. Okay, well, we already have that in the form of this boy right here, so... I mean, luckily I love it. I don't really want, I don't really need a, du a duplicate, because... Yeah, alright. What, what can we actually get, then? Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Eggby. Well. Well, uh... Huh. Okay. Uh, you... Okay, I'm not sure... I, I, I didn't really pay attention to what craw you had. I'm going to Spangler. I'm going to put you to sleep. I'm going to put you to sleep. I'm not sure what your typing is. Pudge, what type is that? That's super effective, okay. It's not gonna poison you, which is good. Alright, go for the sleep flower. Put your ass to sleep. Put your ass... It seems so goofy, it's like a fucking bald chancy. Literally. I mean, alright, whatever. <laughs> and then it evolves into literally a... Satur a Blissey with the saturation turned up. So that's, uh... All around a great evolution line. 10 out of 10 would use again. So I haven't used them, because... I mean, I don't really have a reason to. Uh, oh, no, I do not want to Master Ball you. No, no, no. No, 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 I don't want to Master Ball you. All right, come on, stay in the ball. Be a good little egg bee. Yo. All right. Uh, what do I want to name you, though? That is the question. That is the question. All right, well, let's see what you say. Egg sweet. It is a thick layer of vanilla containing delicious chocolate. It's egg that explodes with flavor. Oh, does that mean you get explosion? Well, I'm glad you didn't use it. <laughs> I am very glad you did not use it. Look, even this thing's like fucking sprite here is like bald, literally a bald chancy. <coughs> um, <laughs> I can name you Airhead, cause I don't know, why not? Uh, I could name. What else could I name you here? Um, honestly, I kind of think just like, air, I mean, I don't know, air, I mean, it's, I know it's not, like, it's not an airhead at all, but like, eh, I don't know, actually. I don't need mounds. That seems a little bit more appropriate, I don't know. Uh, no, mo no, not move. That was our Gliscor in black. And, yeah, no, I'm not naming you move. You are not, you're nowhere near a Gliscor. I don't even think Gliscor's in this game. Alright, what could we have had? Another egg bee. Alright, cool. Cool, cool stuff. Alright, uh, I want to go ahead and go around here and smack a switch right in his dumb little face and make our way up here so that we can progress uh, over this way. Alright, I should really put on a repel. I really should put on a repel. Uh, repel, 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 where art thou? Repel, wherefore art thou? Okay. Uh, okay, what's, okay, we can't go over here. Alright, so I guess there's really only one thing to do now, isn't there? Let's go ahead and smack this switch. Smack, you know, we're not just hitting it, we're smacking it. And, uh, we're going around this way, the long way. And we're gonna get this item, which is an escape rope. Alright, in case we need to escape- what the hell was that? Okay, for my, that, my guy just stopped for some reason. Why does it do that? I do not understand. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, uh, can we hit the switch? Who wouldn't? I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I see a random switch in a main scene, sure, I'm gonna press it. Well, I mean, I can I probably wouldn't, to be fair, unless there was absolutely no other way, because realistically, it could be a trap. 
Of course, this is Pokemon. The traps don't exist in Pokemon, so yeah. Alright, knock, knock, bang, bang. Yar, you startled me. You frightened me. Did I now? Well, alright. Alright, Mr. Pirate Man. Pirate Dazzler. He has a Fuggisaur and a Pistoise. Interesting. Uh, but it looks like you only have two Pokemon, so no fucking Straw Wizard. Uh, alright, well, uh, I can Brick Break you, actually, because that's chocolate, and I can Rasp the Pistoise, because that's super effective. Twizzlers are actually good against both of y'all, motherfuckers. So that's pretty good, and we almost o code you. If I'd gone for the Pistoise with Double Bug, you would have been dead and gone right now. But nope, I'm, you know, spreading out the attacks. I'm not sure if that's necessarily smarter, because... I mean, then again, I mean, we, we, I mean, we, it was either we knock out one of them right off the bat, or we just, um, you know, do what I did and do a good amount of damage to both of them. You know, I'm going for a peeler. Kill the block, kill the Pisces and get a little bit of damage off on the fuck store. I really have no reason. Uh, you're kidding. What is peeler's accuracy then? What is peeler's accuracy? Oh no, he went for mud slap. That's why. God damn it. I would- that would happen to me, though. I would miss a move after minus one accuracy. That, that happens to me all the time, actually. Like, the opponent- like, my opponent will, like, you know, use one sand attack or mud slap or whatever on me, and I'll miss everything. Just from one accuracy drop. I don't get it. I don't get it. Alright, well, now that, uh, now that double bubs level 48, we can go ahead and put... Uh, I'll rock out with Kit Kat next. Because I'm not sure if I really, I mean, nothing against Spangler, but I, I'm not sure if I really want to train both of my Raspberry types at the same time. I mean, there's, I mean, it wouldn't hurt, I guess, but I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and, yep, not so fast. And this guy just wants to, yep, just barge in and fight me for no reason at all. Alright, Pirate Eric has Slugnut and Cream Tough. Alright, that's fine, we can beat these, <laughs> beat these fuckers into the ground. Uh, go for an Aerial Ace, I think. And we can go for a pedal dance. Yeah, let's go for a pedal dance. <clears throat> if we can go for a slug, if we if pedal dance can land on the slug nut, that'll be good. Of course, it's gonna land on the cream tough. Now that I said that, because it never does what I want it to do. Oh look, it actually did what I wanted it to do. And it oh and it killed. Nice, nice one, Twizzler. Good job. High five, buddy. All right, what are you, what are you sending next? Grape palm. Oh boy. All right. All right, grape grape palm. You're gonna learn pedal dance, really? <laughs> Alright, well then, uh, let's go ahead and aerialize the Grape Palm, because I do not like you after the last episode. Alright, uh, Paddle Dance, Grape Palm! Nope, of course not, alright. <laughs> I knew it was too good to be true that first turn. And now it begins the confusion. Bullshit, alright. Alright, see Twizzler, if you'd Paddle Dance the gra Grape Palm, this wouldn't have been an issue. Hyper Voice, okay, that's split damage, so that shouldn't be doing anything at all. Alright, Aerial Ice, and, oh uh, yeah, we're confused, of course. Oh, really? It lives on one again? Wow. Can someone, like, actually, like, in the comments, like, like, I don't know if you've been, like, actually keeping track or whatever, but, like, if you, if you, have, if you, have, if you have some spare time, you should go back through all the episodes and, like, check how many times there's been selling in this, in this LP that has lived on one HP. I think that'd be, I think that'd be interesting to see. I really do. I think that'd be interesting to see. How, guess how many times exactly something in this game has lived on one hit point. Or, you know, close, as close to one hit point as you can get. Like, obviously, that cream tough there doesn't count, because I was like, you know, it was red, but it wasn't, like, quite one, whereas the grape palm there was one. There were, like, three or four times in the dojo episode that it happened, a couple times in the last episode. It's been happening way too much, and I don't get it. I guess my luck is really that bad in Nuzlocke, huh? <laughs> Alright, actually, we have some super potions. I'm gonna use those first, because I don't want to be using no... Uh, lemonades if I don't have to. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? A Twizzler has an insane amount of HP. I never realized that. Holy shit. Alright, well. We can go ahead and get the heck out of there. And we are now on Cinnabar Island. Is that actually what it's called? I feel like... I don't know. Either I misread something or I don't know what's going on, but... Anyways, either way, we can go ahead and heal up our Pokemons. And we're actually only 14 minutes in, so I think we might actually be taking on the gym in this episode. Because, uh, I mean, there's not really much else to do, and I'm pretty sure we're at least adequately leveled. So, uh, let's go ahead and buy some more stuff, though. We, can we buy Ultra Balls? Yes. Yeah, look, it's got, like, it's like 
fucking, it's got like bananas for the thing. I like that. That's cool. All right. We can buy a bunch of those because we have money on top of money. All right. Let's one tw buy 20 for now. I think that'll be enough. And we can buy hyper potions. We can buy 49. Have a, I mean, we have one right now, so it'll be exactly 50. So I'm, I'm tempted, not gonna lie, for my OCD. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy 30 for now. I'm gonna go with 30. That should be enough for now. And I'm gonna buy some full heals. Because you never know. You never know. Let's buy like, let's buy 30 of those as well. Because why not? I can buy some revives. We can buy some more. I mean, eh, we don't really need more repels. I think we're good on those for now. And also, it is, it is Cinnabon Island, okay. Close enough. Uh, also, I want to see something real quick, because I know normally there's a guy that can trade your Pokemon. So I want to see if he... Oh, he's not here. Wow. <laughs> no one is here. Damn. Alright. Uh, unless it's like... Unless, unless it's somewhere else. The power took over the place? Well. Oh, is that why there's no one there? So, like, once I drive them out, they'll be here. People will be, people will be here again. Because, yeah, there's literally no one here. What is this? A sugar pipe. Alright, then. Uh, what's this? It's all complicated words and numbers that make no sense. Yo, Sam. I feel that. Alright, what's in door number three? What's behind door number three? Once again, absolutely nothing. Yeet. Alright. So yeah, I guess we are gonna be taking on the gym. I think we I think we will be okay. I'm not sure what type it is though. So we'll have to scout that out. Uh, if it is any particular typing. Um, but yeah, I mean I just feel like taking on the gym, so let's do it. Knock knock bang bang, where's the cash? Oh, we can leave again. Okay, so is this gonna be like Erica's gym where like we can leave it, but we have to we have to fight everyone again? Alright, dessert quiz. Get it right in the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face a trainer. Here we go. Lemonade has sugar. Yeah. You're absolutely correct. Go on through. But I still want to battle this guy. Being a pirate is all right with me. I mean, you know what? If you're happy, then... You know what? You do what you want to do. You do you, my guy. Quid... Quincy? I feel like it's supposed to be Quincy. But someone on the sweet team messed up. And did a typo. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and go for the Cinerath. I feel like that's a little bit more of a threat than the cream tough. Not gonna lie, cause I mean, at least basing off basing this off the regular Pokemon, Polyrath is obviously more of a threat than Wigglytuff. So, I and mean, we can two KO it. Submission. Okay. Uh, how much is that gonna do? That's not gonna do a whole lot. He does have to take a recoil. All right. Body slam. Can you stay away from my for my boy my girl Twizzler? I really appreciate it. I really fucking appreciate it if you can back off. <laughs> back off. All right. Well, let's do the Cherry Berry to heal that paralysis assist. Uh, I think we'll be okay. I can go for a, I can cause I can kill off the Cinerath and see whatever they bring in next, and go ahead and get a, a, a clean rasp off on the Cream Tough. Uh, and see what you're gonna say. A Grape Bomb. Okay, so is this so far? This game doesn't really seem to have a specific typing to it. It's just kind of stuff. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's just one. I mean, we did have that one guy in the in the Grape Gym that had a fucking uh, <laughs> Velvoir. So, you never know, but, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so, we still have plenty of lemonade to spare, so I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna try to use those up first. Unless I, unless I absolutely need to use a Hyper Potion. <coughs> Fire Spin, uh, okay. <laughs> I did literally nothing. Literally nothing. Alright, what are you gonna do, Creep Tough? Body Slam on Kit Kat. Can you back off? Can you actually, whoa, that did a lot. I would really appreciate it if you would stop that. <laughs> I would genuinely appreciate if you would stop that, because that did far too much damage. Let's rasp the cream tough and get you out of here, because I ain't standing for this. I am not standing for you doing that much damage to my Pokemon. I'm not. I'm not up for this. I did not agree to this. I right, thief. That's fine. Cause I'm literally not holding anything. Fire spin's gonna continue to do its thing. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna with Kit Kat. Go for Aerial Ace, and with Twizzler, it doesn't be on the safe side, I will heal the Paralysis. Uh, actually, use some Lava Cookies, I'll use those. On Kit Kat, so that we don't get paralyzed, and we can actually go first, and go for an Aerial Ace, and almost kill the Grape Palm. <coughs> Yeet Skeet. And then we shall go for one more Aerial Ace, and it doesn't really matter what we do with uh, Twizzler, because this thing's going to be dead before we know it. Dead before we know it. Down goes the Grave Palm, and that is it for a uh, typo boy. <sighs> Alright, 1472. Yeet skeet. Alright, let's go ahead and answer this. Dessert quiz. Get it right in the door open to the next room. Get it wrong, a face trainer. Here we go. Ice cream has flour in it. Does it? I'm actually not sure. 
Call me dumb, I don't know, but I, don't, I actually don't know. Let's go with no. Oh shit, I'm right. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, no. We got, I'm not gonna battle everyone here. Uh, I'm just gonna battle, like, well, like every other guy, maybe. Dorm's the next one. Get it wrong, and face trainer. Here we go. High choice evolves. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, okay. Because then I thought we were gonna pull some technicality on me, because, like, I like saying R, I guess do. Like, wasn't there one question where, like, in another game, where it was, like, I don't know. Maybe I guess overthink something. Pumpkinette and... Oh. Right. Um, huh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Level zero. Yeah. Quick on Pumpkinette. Okay. Uh, yeah. Please don't break my game. One exp- well, okay. Well. Alrighty then, uh, someone forgot to give this guy a second Pokemon, or make it not a double battle. Dessert quiz, get right into Dorms and Nectar, alright, we know the drill. Uh, can apples be poisoned? Yeah, I guess, but, what? What, I, what, what are these questions? <laughs> what are these questions? Alright, Pirate Derek. Alright, Pumpkinette, see, this is what the other guy should have been. And so this guy's higher level, okay, well, that's fine. Nothing that, uh, Kit Kat can't handle. Uh, Flurry Blitz, okay, that's fine. That's fine, I'm actually gonna speed you up, because we got some stuff to do. I'm sorry, Pumpkinette, but, uh, we got an agenda today, so I'm gonna go and get that level 47, and defeat Pirate Derek, and pick up 230 bucks. Yeet ski, alright, the door opens, and, alright. Let's go ahead and, uh, get this one. Get right into the door opens the next room, get wrong, a face trainer, here we go. High day is March 14th, that is, well, first... I mean, actually, that is correct, but it's technically, it's pi day, like, you know, the number pi, so, I'm just, come on. That's, now you're just messing with me. <laughs> now you're just messing, I know that Mark 14, because, you know, 314, ha ha ha, is pi day, like, you know, 3.14, but, I mean, come on. Alright, whatever, we, I'm down to fuck up some, some boys, alright, go for a banana shot on the buy sour. Because that's super effective, I do believe. Yes, yes, yes it is. Didn't do a whole lot, but that's fine. We can go for a Rasp on the Queemiscent. Uh, which should do a lot, because it is stab and super effective. Yeet, skeet, down you go. So now all I got to deal with left is the buy sour. Growth, that's fine. That's fine, my boy. Alright, go for another banana shot, and go for a peeler. Because why not, it's super effective. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually, actually, this actually might not kill. Because Peeler isn't exactly the strongest move. But, I mean, we can see. Oh, it does kill. Nice. Good job, Twizzler. Good job, team. I'm proud of you, boys. Or girls, I guess. Both, Literally, both the Pokemon I have right now are girls. Also, I never got. I never went and got Bertzel back. Oh, well, it's too late to turn back now. I should <laughs> rock out with these boys. I right, get right in the Dorothy Center and get on the face trainer. Here we go. 1028 contains. <laughs> This fucking game, I swear. Alright. So we got to- Alright, we're at 23 minutes. I'm still gonna battle this guy. We might have a little bit of a long episode, depending on how long this takes, but I do want to finish this game in this episode. Because, <clears throat> you know, we want to be ni nice and organized like that. So, without further ado, let's do this. We're down a Pokemon, but that ain't gonna stop me. Arr, you made it to me, Jim. Yes, I, a pirate captain, control this island. What you mean nobody lives here? What you mean it's pointless? Arr, fine then, but here we play by my rules. You lose the battle and you walk the plank. Alright, that's fine. Cause I'm not gonna lose, so I'm not gonna be walking any planks. Fucking pink Archie. Alright, you have a full team of six. Interesting. You have Plumbreon and Lip Syncs. Hey, look at that Plumbreon. It's literally Candy Morgana. Alright, um... I never checked Lip, lip, lip Syncs either, so I don't know what type you are. I'm going to go for a Rasp on the Plumbreon, because I'm pretty sure that's neutral. Because I'm pretty sure when I looked up what typings the evolutions were, I'm pretty sure you're a Raspberry and Cherry. Oh, we got crit. Fuck yeah. All right. I'm sorry, Plumbreon, but you know, you know, I had to do it to him. All right, Twizzler's gonna level 48. Fuck yeah, my guy. All right, what are you sending next? What you sending in next? Cookie Tune. All right, that's cool. Mind Reader. Don't read my mind. Do not read my mind. Please do not do that. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm going for you next because I don't like you. Uh, <laughs> simple as that. I still don't know what type you are. Uh, I can try going for a Rasp on you, maybe? Maybe that'll tell me something? I feel like I feel like there's a chance you might be a Raspberry type yourself, though. So, 
it's resisted. Yeah, I think you're. I think you might be a raspberry type yourself. So that's fine. Cookie Tune's gonna go for an agility. I'm not really afraid of you, <laughs> to be honest. <clears throat> you're mind. You're reading my mind. Why? What is the point in that? You mind reader, just say you would for sure land your next mind reader. Okay. All right. So Lips is gonna get healed. Uh, that's a, that's okay because we still get a lot of damage to it with um, Aerial Ace. So you need to do that again. He gets a crit pursuit. Can you not do that? Can you not do that, my guy? All right. Uh, pedal dance. Can we land on lip syncs, please. Hey, I asked nicely and it happened. Ask and you shall receive. All right. So down goes the lip syncs. So that's two Pokemon down. What you sending the next, my boy? <coughs> Leaferish. Why is that? Okay, I don't know why that's not a Leganium, but all right. That's fine. We can go ahead and um, beat you up. Actually, go for a banana shot because that's super effective. Pursuit. Can you? Fuck off. <laughs> Can you kindly fuck off of Kit Kat, please? I would really appreciate if you would do that. Alright, Pursuit. I mean, Banana Shot doesn't do a whole lot. Pedal Dance. It would actually be better if you land on the Cookie Tune. Because, yep, yeah, it's going to be resisted otherwise. So, we're going to get some de nice damage off there. Sleep Flower, don't. Just don't. Alright. Now, this is the turn I got to spend healing. Because what I want to do is I want to go ahead and lemonade up uh, Kit Kat. I'm gonna lemonade up Kit Kat, and we're going to go for a. I should actually move these things around. Hold on a second. We'll move. Actually, I'll, I'll just move it. Oh, I can't do that in the battle. I can't do that mid battle. All right. Welp. Welp. I'm just gonna heal the confusion on Twizzler. Let's see what you guys want to do. Pursuit again. That's fine. Uh, actually, super effective. Okay, it's not as fine as I thought. So that means I really don't want to be slicking out Twizzler because he might go for pursuit, and that's super effective. So. I don't want to play games with that. Uh, unfortunately, I think I have to heal. I think I have to double heal again, which is not optimal. But I don't think I have a choice in the matter. Because <clears throat> if he gets a crit pursuit and Leaf Rush does some sneaky shit, then Twister might have been going down there, and I'm not. I'll, I'm not about to let that happen. Rasp. Uh, okay, how much is that gonna do to us? Uh, yikes! I did a lot. Okay, I do not want to be condoning this. Aerial Ace. Please and thank you. And go for a peeler. <clears throat> He's gonna pursue it again, that's fine. As long as this thing, like, if this thing is, like, keeps doing, like, a little, little, little bit of damage, I don't think it's really gonna be too threatening. It'll be if, um, you know, he gets a crit or some, some other bullshit happens that then we'll start having problems. And also, uh, look at that, another Pokemon that lives on one. Alright, Rasp. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kinda scared me for a sec. Uh, I'm gonna use Twizzler's turn to heal Kit Kat. Because uh, Kit Kat is faster, so we guaranteed to get off a fast and quick uh, Aerial Ace to knock out this Leaf Rush and stop it from doing any more Rasp shenanigans. So uh, down goes you. Down you go. Alright, what's the what's next? You have three Pokemon left, including this uh, Cookie Tune. You have a, a Cottomoth. Alright, uh, I think I'm going to go for the Cookie Tune since it's already injured. And I'm going to heal it to Whistler. Got a pretty, uh, pretty good system of... Attacks going here. All right, pursuit. He's shifting his focus to Kit Kat. All right, that's fine. That is fine because it's not super effective on us. Aerialist, down you go. All right. So what is Cottomoth going to do? And also, what's your last Pokemon? It is an Area Cake. All right, you got the three, uh, the three, um, three main bugs. I see you, big dog. I see you, big dog. All right, let's go for an Aerial Ace on the Cottomoth. I think because I don't want I don't want this thing doing any bullshit anymore. <laughs> Spore bullshit. So I would much rather you get out at least at the soonest opportunity. Alright, stun powder. I literally just Okay, I may have to bite the bullet and Cause if I can if I can if I can double it if I can double into that thing, it should go down. To an aerial ace and I might have to take my chance with the pedal dance, because I don't think a peeler will do enough. I really don't think a peeler with which is split damage will do enough. So I'm gonna have to go for, I'm gonna have to be a little bit risky. And go for, I mean, it's not really risky risky, it's just like either I hit the Cottomoth and knock it out, as long as Kit Kat doesn't get paralyzed, or I do some damage to the Area Cake. I mean, either way, it's not that bad, I guess. He goes for Rasp on the Twizzler like an idiot, okay. Razor Line, that's not Stab, so it's not going to be doing much to either of them, because it's also split damage. So that's fine. Go for a Paddle Dance on the Cottomoth. Yes! Alright, now Kit Kat. Kit Kat. To be fair, Kit Kat, you did this to yourself. Like, really? <laughs> Come on, my dude. 
Alright, Pi Beam. Uh, okay, they're starting to attack Kit Kat. That's not fun. Okay, if, if, if the Katamas had attacked there, that, that would have been a little bit problematic. Alright, now come on. Come on. Aerial Ace. Yes, okay, it's gonna do some nice damage. Okay. Now, oh, Twizzler's paralyzed. That's not what I needed. I needed a three turn. Unless we got a three turn, I guess we'll pay attention. Uh, okay, full heal that. And I'm actually, I'm actually gonna need to double full heal. Because I don't, I do not want a, uh, not poisoned. Confused Twizzler. So I'm gonna need to double heal. Alright, Nightshade on who? On, oh, oh, that's not good. If he goes for Rasp. Oh my god, thank you, okay. I was so scared for a second there. If he had actually done the smart thing and gone for Rasp on Kit Kat, she would have been dead. Straight up. So I am very glad the AI fucked up yet again. Alright, Peeler, can we, uh, knock out the, um... Oh, now they're going for Pi- Why are you so stupid? <laughs> Why are you going for Raspberry attacks on a Raspberry type? You even have the pre-evolution. Why do you hate this thing so- Whoa! Critical hit! Critical hit! And a special defense drop! Can we not? Peeler, please knock it out. Please knock out the Cottomoth. It's not gonna knock out the Cottomoth. God- Alright, well... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and aerialize you and heal up Twizzler. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we gonna do. That's what we're gonna do, and it's gonna go great. See, look at that. Look at that. Down goes the Cottomoth, and now all you have to do with left is the area cake as Kit Kat hits level 48. Could not have been more perfect. Alright. <clears throat> Pie Beam, that's fine. That is actually fine. Even at minus one defense, it's still resisted. Or minus one special defense, rather. Whatever. Can you not? Can you fuck off? Seriously. <sighs> I gotta use another full heal. I use six full heals in this one battle. Alright, Ariel, this should do uh, a decent amount of damage. Alright, good job. Good job. High beam, that's fine. As long as we don't get confused again. Thank you. Alright, Ariel, Ace, And we can battle dance. And we're good. And we're good. We are good. The Ariel, Ace is enough to kill on its own. Fuck yeah. Whew, okay, that wasn't really... That wasn't really that hard of a gym battle. It was just kind of, you know, I had to deal with a bunch of hacks, which wasn't that fun, but at the same time, I'm kind of used to it, because it happens all the time. Eat, skeep. You've won the sugar badge. Alright. Also, it did seem like the gym leader himself was raspberry type, so yeah. Yes, with that, Yibi is a new captain. I should stop talking like that, actually. Well, I guess we're not pirates anymore. We weren't really good ones anyway. Alright, well, give me an effing chat for the pirate gang. <laughs> Alright, so, that is it for this here gym, and first things first, before I end the episode, I do want to go ahead and get back Julius. Because, uh, yeah, I forgot, I kind of forgot about him, I'm sorry Julius, but I will not let it happen again. Alright, first we'll heal up our squadron, because, you know, they deserve a little bit of TLC after the, the work they put in. Well, it was pretty much just a Kit Kat and Twizzler, actually, but you know what, hey, those are the OG2. Those are the first two that we caught that are still alive. So I'm, I'm not mad that they were the ones who swept that, who, uh, soloed that gym. And also we can check out our new captures, but first, <laughs> before I forget again, let's get, let's get, get Julia, actually no, I don't, I can't get Julia's back. I have to go to the fucking next ten, okay. Alright, I'll go, to, I'll do that off screen, I'll get Julia's back before the next episode. We have a calm nature, uh, ice fish, with split again, okay. Calm actually, I don't think it would be too bad for it. So that's pretty neat. Alright, let's have a look at Laffy Taffy here. Alright, you are Raspberry and Gripe. Interesting, alright. Call Nature. Again, that's... Uh, actually, that's... Like, what are you, Hitmonlee? So, that actually is bad. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, you have a Hitmonlee's moveset. Alright, let's look at, uh, uh, Mountains here. We're actually holding an Easter Egg. Alright. Sweetie Pie. Alright, uh, Smog. What is fruit? Okay, so that's Smog. That's, oh, that's Self-Destruct. Okay, I'm glad he didn't use that. Uh, well, uh, alright. So then, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head over to the next town. Well, it actually would be uh, Viridian, because that's where our final gym challenge awaits us here in Sweetland. We are actually very close to finishing this game. We're only like a few episodes away, if like depending on what we do and how things go. It'll be a little bit sad to see this go. Not gonna lie, but at the same time, it's been a fucking blast of a series. I love this game. As quirky as it is sometimes. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, and of course you guys show your support, make sure you smash that like button down below for us, because you already know, your support is greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, we out. Bye!